All right, everyone, welcome back to HDTL. This is episode 20 of our uh, bonus ep episode 1. Uh, link for the past randomized. Um, okay, so I've got two dungeons left to do. Luckily, or as luck would have it, they're both in the same area. So let's finish up the Dark Palace first, because this should only take a few minutes. Because I've already explored pretty much all of it. I just have to get to the, uh, to the boss. All right, now i got to try and remember how to get there. Alright, so we'll go up here. Alright, I think I need to get up there, actually. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I definitely think I went the wrong way. Oh, I think I just screwed myself, too. Alright, well, let's go back this way. God damn it! Ugh. Oh my god! I already did all this. Now I can go this way because I have the hammer. And the big key. And thankfully a regular key too. Let's finish this dungeon. Alright, hammer your face. There we 
Oh, the big chest. No, that makes sense. Alright, well, I guess we're going back in. straight up. I didn't even think of that. Get over there now. Okay, here we go. Alright, what do you got for me? Money. Cool. Died. That was weird. Alright. Alright, so last dungeon. The Swamp Palace. Which I now have to do in full. Right, what, what kind of hint do you have for me here? The bow can be found near a bat like man. I have the bow, right? Yeah. Okay. Of this dungeon. That could be a problem. Hopefully, I find all the keys I need here. Money I don't need. I also still haven't found half the magic yet, which is weird. everything in this room, but just in case. That is normally a key. Hmm. Is this the key? Okay. Sweet. All right. All right, so I have hook shots, so I can skip most of this dungeon, but I'm not going to because I need chests. So, one more piece of heart and I'll have full health. So, big chest, what do you got for me? Key to Skullwoods I don't need.
Right first. Damn it. Never mind. So I gotta go hit this switch. over on the other side. Right, that's not a uh, tongue pull situation. Don't remember if I have to kill everything in here or not, just in case. Not 
this way. go this way. Need to get back up. Alright, never mind. This is what I want. Bombs and full health. Now let's go this way. Finish the dungeon and then I'll come back. So... Wait, I didn't want that in here. 
I got that. Actually, I don't even have to bother with this. here because I didn't I didn't think there was a chest in here. And I'm correct about that. So where's the last item in here? Oh I remember. Okay. There we go. And it was useless anyway. Okay. Okay, so that's all the dungeons, so I can theoretically go fight Ganon. But I want to check a couple things first. I can go to actual Ganon's tower. Um, I think it's just a shop. I can do that. And I can also see... Where's the bomb shop? I remember what the bomb shop is. Okay. Let's do that first. So I gotta get back to the dark world for the bomb shop. The quickest way for that is through town. over here. So now wait, I think A sets off the box, so how do I... Link 
Ben's house. Alright, now from here I gotta go to the bridge. So now, let's go up to Ganon's tower. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's just end this. Really, I'm just looking- because I have everything. I'm really just looking- at this point, the only things I don't have are, like, keys and, uh, one of the medallions. I got the flute. I don't need- don't need to bother activating it, so... So this isn't going to be a 100% run, but don't care. I'm just going to take the win. Cool. Good to know again. Find the silver arrows in the desert. And that is a victory! Wow. Oh, man. I gotta say, this randomizer was looking pretty grim at, at certain points. I just wasted two hours of my life. <laughs> oh, game, you have no idea. It was a lot more than two hours. So this randomizer is down. So, like I said, I've done a, I've done a couple of randomizers before, but I've never done the entrance randomizer, and it turns this into a completely different game. Whoa, that was weird. It turns this into a completely different game. Like it feels like I'm relearning, like you know, like for the past as if I just played it for the first time, because you don't know where anything is. Like, you know generally how to get through dungeons, and you know what items do what, but you don't know where anything is, so it's just exploring and taking notes and figuring out, like, what goes where and what you need to do. So, like, I really recommend it if you want a completely new experience from Link to the Past. 
and this this was a lot of fun. Like it was it was frustrating at times, but like I said, meticulous note taking, and uh, I was able to get through it. So that's the end of our first bonus episode. So after this, we're gonna be getting back to the main timeline with episode 53. So if you guys like what you've seen, like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. We will see you guys in the next game. Alright.